It's, it's kind of sneaky. I consider it very sneaky because it says the right to work. Who doesn't believe that you have the right to work? Working in Minnesota as a whole is a very good thing. It's a very uh, progressive state, very friendly towards labor. The recession really has hit us hard. I mean, even just the label right to work is you know, very clever, but very misleading. And it really has nothing to do with a right to work, per se. A right to work law seeks to prohibit what advocates label compulsory unionism, where workers in a unionized shop are forced to join the union. It's an attempt to weaken them in the workplace, make it harder for them to be strong advocates for the workers uh, in the workplaces. But also we shouldn't overlook the political element. Um, and, and I think really a big driver of this is really politics rather than economics. Politics is like a magic show. They, they have something going on over here that's very exciting to watch. But what's really happening is happening over here. Basically what it says is you have a right to be under that union contract without contributing to it and supporting that. And basically it's a right to, to freeload. And it's really hard to find a, a strong effect um, in terms of right to work laws causing employment. Um, so for example, if someone's gonna say, well, if Minnesota passes a right to work law and all of a sudden we're gonna have job growth, um, that's completely misleading. Right, so we really need to be thinking about not only how to create jobs, but really how to create good jobs. To be, to be pushed down and separated. It's, it's an attempt to separate people and, and have people lose, lose a little bit of voice.